the way thoughts occur and dissolve and change and mutate in one's mind. This is basically the reality I'm in when I'm designing. It's not, uh, you know, shy, timid work in any way. Forged ironwork has been around for over 2,000 years. People have applied it culturally and through machine technology, and it's developed the factory system. It's just part of that, uh, part of that spectrum. There's something special about taking a bar of silver and producing an intricate serving piece, really reshaping the silver, rearranging it. This is just a very special field of accomplishment. I retire. The company did hire a young woman who was exactly what this company needs for the future. It just sort of amazed me that you can take this technology that's been around for thousands of years and make functional work. It's almost like you're pouring all of your life energy into this one piece because it is such a physical process, sort of an intimate process too. There's such a rebirth of craft people from my generation who are really interested in traditional ways of making things. You know, I guess there's always been a creative bent to me, even with all my time in the military. I'm a senior here at the Corcoran College of Art and Design. Art's given me that opportunity to explore deeper into myself. I think the arts are beginning to partner with other military organizations to see how the military arts and healing can be of value. Just like in the military, you have to collaborate to accomplish things. It's just the very basic nature of the unit. The series that I worked on that is about what the truth really represents, especially with the military and war. And this, in the end, is the truth. The students here at Corcoran that are prior military are superly impressive. Nothing but just true heroes in my mind. <laughs>